गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो टूडे आई गॉट गैलेक्सी नो टेन प्लस आई हैव ए कोरियन वेरियंट एंड द मोबाइल फोन इज स्टक ऑन बूट लोगो सैमसंग गैलेक्सी नोट टेन प्लस फाइव जी माई मोबाइल फोन इज़ हैविंग एन अनलॉक बूट लोडर आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू फ्लैश एज कस्टम रॉम बट सम हाउ द मोबाइल इज नॉट बूटिंग फर्दर स्टक ऑन द सैमसंग गैलेक्सी नोट टेन प्लस फाइव जी सो इन दिस केस वट एग्जैक्टली वी हैव टू डू is to flash the stock firmware file back on the mobile phone to get or to make the mobile phone to boot into stock rom or stock firmware then if you want you are a flashaholic in case then you can flash later any custom rom so in case if you have a mobile phone and it is stuck on this logo you can watch this video and follow the step your phone will get okay and it will start booting <music> this uh, flashing procedure requires a data cable a good quality of data cable and must check your computer usb port must be okay also right and we need a computer also this is the website link provided in my video description and uh, if you know the model number of your mobile phone then you need to type the model number over here and if you don't know go to settings then to about phone check the model number over there and then type it here and if your set is stuck on the logo simply boot the mobile phone into ordin mode the ordin mode sh uh, screen will show the model number then you can simply type the number over here for example my galaxy note 10 plus 5g model number is n976 n here we go i will click to select this uh, model number come down i have south korea variant and k00 is the variant that i have now if you don't know what exactly we have to select from these then you need to boot your set and then go to about phone then go to software information and check your service provider software info you can see any of these three letters k double o k t c l u c s k c which will confirm that what uh, we have to or what we have to click from these my mobile phone is having k double o i will click on here then i will come down and i will go for the latest firmware file this one is the latest release click on it and on next window come down here and click download on browser the downloading will start so this is the my downloaded uh, folder where i have already downloaded the files now you must download in samsung usb driver and install it on your windows in case if you have already installed on your windows then no need to reinstall it but if if you are not having it then you must install it so the windows will detect the drivers and they will install the drivers and will detect the mo mobile phone later when booting it into ordin mode this is the ordin 3.13.1 a uh, link provided download it then extract it must in same folder and this is the firmware latest file i have downloaded which i just showed on from the website after downloading it the firmware must extract it first then open the extracted folder of firmware file you will definitely see all the flashing files now go back open the extracted folder of ordin then double click the ordin file and click okay on next window the ordin will get open now here we have to click bl first then i will open the extracted folder of firmware file and i will select the file starting from the bl if you can see that bl right click on this file then click open just wait okay when you see this check sign now it's ready now click on ap then same go to that downloaded folder open the extracted firmware folder and select the file starting from ap click on it then click open and this file will take a time uh, getting ready just wait for it now and when you see a check sign with the ap section then click cp same way go to that folder select the file starting from cp click on it and click open and it is ready then click csc and select the file starting from csc then click open 
Now the Odin is ready to flash the firmware file on the mobile phone. Now coming towards the mobile phone. Mobile phone is not booting further. It is stuck on the uh, Galaxy Note 10 plus 5G logo. We have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. For that connect the data cable with mobile phone. Then press and hold volume up key volume down key and power key in few seconds the set will reboot and it will boot into Odin uh, warning screen then release all the keys immediately if this happens doesn't matter just try it again press and hold the volume up key then volume down key then power key I will try it again press and hold the uh, volume up volume down then power key release the power key wait and we got the warning screen if you can see that press the volume up key once to continue press the volume up key once the Odin mode screen appears now let me show the Odin screen if you can see that that uh, model number is over here 976N current binary is custom I was having a custom ROM and FRP lock is off OEM lock is also off but I am having an unlock bootloader the uh, mobile phone is booted into Odin mode and connected with the computer the data cable is already connected now coming back towards the computer screen my set is having a problem not booting so I will go to option first on Odin mode but before I will show that or after if you have installed the Samsung USB driver the Odin will show 0.6 which means that Odin detect the mobile phone easily now if my set is having a problem with not booting so I will go on option first then I will check I put a check sign on NAND erase then we will go back to lock and will start press the click the start so the flashing will get started it will take a time now you just have to wait let the flashing complete then we will continue flashing done you can see that pass and uh, all threads completed succeeded one click reset then click exit Odin work finish and also computer work finish now coming back towards the mobile phone the just wait for it let's see maybe mobile will start erasing by itself already doing it now we have to wait if mobile phone started booting then everything is okay otherwise we have to do the data factory reset mobile phone is not putting I think I will wait little more let's let's see what the mobile phone will do this time if mobile phone restart once again then we have to boot the set into recovery yeah the mobile phone automatically goes to the uh, stock recovery now here if you can see that factory reset uh, press the volume down key to select the factory data reset and then the press power key and select a volume down key factory data reset press power key the thing will start and done and now mobile phone will automatically restart this time you can disconnect the data cable from the mobile phone and soon the mobile phone will start booting into stock ROM that we have just or that I have just flash and uh, this will be first boot it will take a time you can see that just wait let the first boot complete then we will continue finally first boot complete uh, complete the setup screen so we got the latest firmware on the mobile phone the mobile phone is okay now a mobile phone finally booted to stock firmware I will go to settings here I can see the IME is back uh, and the model number is uh, 976N Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G I would uh, tap the software information One UI 4.1 Android version 12 and the build number is the latest one that I have just flashed and this is the service provider software information if you can see that K double O K double O which is this Korean 
वेरियंट गैलेक्सी नोट टेन प्लस फाइव जी सो मोबाइल फोन इज ओके नाउ आई कैन जस्ट इंसर्ट अ सिम कार्ड एंड आई कैन यूज द मोबाइल फोन जस्ट लाइक द वे वी डू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक द वीडियो एंड शेयर इट विद अदर्स एंड विल सी वी इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टेक अ गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ गुड बाय